Life Audio. Hi, friends. This is Bonnie Gray. Welcome to Breathe, the Stress Less Podcast. I'm so happy that you're here. This is a quiet time for you to just pause and refresh your soul with God's loving word. You're going to hear a loving word of affirmation from God, as well as do something that is loving for your body and emotions based on scripture and science. It's interesting that when we are wanting to do something new, it might sound very positive, but what if there's a change in your life that's happening that you didn't choose and you feel forced to face doing new things. In other words, change is hard. In the fall, the autumn season, you know, change is beautiful. We're gonna start seeing leaves already turning colors into golden, auburn, red, yellow. It's just gonna be beautiful. But many times, When we're used to how things are, it can be very difficult to change and to move into new ways of doing the things that we want to do and maybe do things that we didn't anticipate. And so today I want to ask you, what is something that helps you to adapt to change? What is one thing that will help you to be able to renew your sense of peace and give you a steadiness? that can really give you confidence when change is coming and you want to steady your heart. What helps you through change? Why don't you just breathe into this time, inhale and exhale, even as we begin, because God is with us and you will be refreshed as we reflect on God's promise for you today. And I want you to know that God is with you during this season and that God will prepare what you need. One of the exciting things that's happening in our family is that my younger son, Caleb, is starting a new sport. It's called cross country. Those of you who have been following along on this Breathe podcast will remember earlier in the summer, I shared that Caleb is starting this new sport and he started going to do runs and he found that he really loved it. It was such a surprise because we didn't even know that this would be something that Caleb would enjoy. Caleb has always played soccer and at the end of his eighth grade graduation, his PE teacher said, you may want to encourage Caleb to run cross country because he had a really good time on his mile run. Now, many of us can be inspired because we may not even know that there's something that can refresh and re-energize us because maybe simply we've never tried it. And it caused me to ask Caleb, he had his first meet, I asked him, hey, what was it like to go on your first meet, your first cross-country run? There were so many schools that participated and he said it was like a football field wide of over a hundred kids that were running in this race. In fact, there were 207 kids in the freshman class. And I said, well, was it nervous for you? How would you know how you're doing? Because he said that the path would then narrow into only fitting three or four kids on the path to running. And something Caleb said to me inspired today's podcast. He said, Mom, I didn't look at what the other kids were doing. I was taught and trained to only look for the person in front of me, the student on the same team, and I would run and pace myself by following him. And I said, there it is. What a beautiful truth that we're called to run a race, friend. And scripture tells us that we're set our eyes on the prize, which is Jesus. So as we run the race today, In whatever season you're in, this week, whatever is in front of you, may you breathe in and breathe out to the truth that Jesus 
goes before you. And we are only to fix our eyes on him. We're going to talk about some tips that will help us in our soul care after we heard from our sponsor. But may you breathe in the truth that Jesus goes before you and he is with you now. Here in Manhattan, when how long you live depends on where you live, it's time to raise health. When your quality of care depends on who you are and health seems out of your hands, it's time to raise voices, raise expectations for better access, better outcomes, person by person, block by block. With a powerful system of care, that's for everyone. Northwell is here, Manhattan, and we came to raise health. Visit northwell.edu slash NYC. Friend, what is that new thing that God may have put on your heart? Well, I want to introduce you to four of the books that I've written. I want to invite you to pick up my latest copy of Breathe, 21 Days to Stress Less and Transform Chaos to Calm. It's a wonderful book that will help you to, within 21 stops along the way, address four different areas of wellness, emotional wellness, spiritual wellness, physical wellness, and social wellness. I do not ever get tired of introducing this book to you because it has the 21 top ways that help me address 21 stressors in my life and through God's word and science, some soul care strategies, just simple rhythms that help me to restore calm and peace. And I want to be able to guide you through these 21 areas. So pick up a copy, especially autumn is a perfect time to just snuggle up with a book and journal or even just write straight in the book. I know not everybody loves the journal, but sometimes just having a prompt, you can just make some notes and it's a wonderful way to just slow down. Research shows that even when you read a book, it will help you to restore calm. And it's so interesting, not only that you've made, those of you who picked a copy made it the number one audiobook. Research also shows that listening to audiobooks also help your brain to calm and relax. It's no wonder that audiobooks are on the rise, especially in this very stressful environment that we're all going through. So pick up a copy and I highly recommend it for a book club at the end of every chapter. I have created discussion conversation starters, and they're really good ones. It's an opportunity to share your stories and just encourage each other. So pick up a copy. Well, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about change is because there's a new change coming. I'm going to be starting a soul care school. And one of the first Bible studies I want to do is I want to teach you how to study the Bible to hear God's voice personally in your life. It's the ability to really enjoy scripture in a way where you can hear God speak into your life. That really helped me through the journey of healing from anxiety and stress. And so I want to combine both scripture and science to help you. And I'm just so excited to have a community. I'm looking for a community of women of faith who are interested in going through the scriptures, and I'm going to teach you the process, and you're going to pick up a lot of fun tools and skills, and we'll learn together. So sign up for my newsletter at thebonniegray.com slash subscribe. Many of you have said you had trouble subscribing last week. Thank you for letting me know. I fixed it with my website team. So it's at thebonniegray.com slash subscribe, because then you'll be the first to know when I open registration. It is going to be exciting. Well, one of the things that I love to do is to talk about your story. Where are you in this season of change? What is the thing that you feel has been most difficult? Today's scripture comes from that wonderful passage about running. It's from Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. The Apostle Paul says, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Another translation uses the word run. I run straight toward the goal to win the prize that God's heavenly call offers in Jesus Christ. 
think of what it's like to be a runner and how, just like my son Caleb reminded us, it's through looking at the person in front of you who's running that we follow and focuses us. And so Jesus is right in front of us. We want to follow him because it's our prize. The prize is Jesus. And so as we are running towards whatever God may be calling you in your season of change, how can you see God in the midst of this change? It doesn't mean everything is positive. It doesn't mean we don't have stress, but it's how we respond to our stress. We want to focus our attention on asking God, what do you have for me in this change? This is one of the soul care questions that I want to offer to you as a prompt to place your focus. It's a wonderful question. God, what do you want me to see in this season of change? And when we can see God in our season of change, then we have that energy to follow after him, to follow after him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, we see a same echo. The Apostle Paul says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way as to take the prize. And we see that when we look at the Philippian passage, he tells us what that prize is. It's Christ Jesus. So friend, what is that challenge or stress that's kind of putting you in a spot where you're having to make changes? We can look and ask Jesus, I don't know what that purpose is, but I just need to see you right in front of me. What is that next step? Friend, I want to encourage you because one of the things in soul care I want to talk about that's based on science is breaking the cycle of procrastination. Do you ever find that you procrastinate because you're not sure if maybe God's really in it? Well, this is very interesting about our brains. If you find yourself procrastinating, focus on a small step within the task that you personally want to do. After completing that one small step, your brain will release a reward chemical dopamine into your system, which creates the feeling of pleasure and energy and will motivate you to take the next step. Now, if you shame yourself into getting a task done, your brain does not release dopamine. I'm going to say that again. Even if you force yourself to do it, your brain won't release the dopamine. There's no motivation. So the key is that we want to break down the task, whatever change we're going through, we need to find something in that change that is appealing to you, is something God's calling you to that speaks to peace or joy. Then when we complete the task with that small, practical, doable step, dopamine will be released every time you make a simple decision and complete it. So practice making simple decisions right away. Don't analyze it and see what a difference it makes because your brain is going to give you a hit of dopamine. You're going to feel better and you can go on to the next. I say this because the whole summer I've been thinking whether I want to write my fifth book. That would in some ways be something I'm more used to because I've written four. But in my heart, I've been wanting to teach this how to study the Bible. I've had readers that have been journeying with me since I started my journey of being an author, Christian author for 12 years. And you, my friend, here at Breathe, the Stressless Podcast has been a part of my desire to teach how to study the Bible, to hear God more personally. Because when you hear God's voice, you will receive that sense of peace. Doesn't mean our situation has changed. Doesn't mean the challenges we have have gone away. But when you can hear somebody's voice, suddenly you have that sense of courage and your heart is steadied. And it is a moment by moment. Just because we've heard God encourage us one day, it doesn't mean that will be all that's needed. So sometimes on Sunday, we'll be inspired by worship. There's a song that touches your heart and we can be hard on ourselves. Well, why am I struggling with this again? But yet God's grace is daily. God's grace is moment by moment. 
The scripture tells us in Lamentations, every day your mercies are new every morning. We need to be renewed day by day, just like a flower gets renewed by sunshine and water day by day. So friend, I just want to encourage you in the challenge you're facing this week or today, what is one thing you can do? And so that's what I started doing. I started working out a curriculum. I started putting together a website and one little step at a time, I saw myself getting more and more excited and motivated. Even though it's something new, I feel more and more motivated because I see God is in it. Every time I have felt weak and discouraged, I remember how hearing God's voice as I read his word steadied my heart. So friend, I want you to look back in your story and your journey. What is a time where you felt so steadied when you heard from God? And God speaks to us in different ways. God speaks to us through other people. God speaks to us through nature. God speaks to us through his word. God speaks to us in a way that's unique to you. So I just want you to bring your mind back to that moment and may it bring you peace. Our breath prayer today is focused on a wonderful, wonderful verse. This episode is brought to you by Southern Company. Southern Company is making energy clean, smart, and sustainable for their 9 million customers across the country. Southern Company, building the future of energy. Learn more at southerncompany.com slash future. Our breath prayer today is focused on a wonderful, wonderful verse. It's from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It's also in the theme of running. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So our breath prayer comes from this verse. Renew my strength. Inhale. Exhale. I will not grow weary. Inhale, renew my strength. Exhale, I will not grow weary. We can take God's promises and we turn them into our prayer. Today's breath prayer is a request. Dear friend, whatever you're going through, I want you to breathe in God's promise. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Dear friend, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that amongst all the change that happens in our lives, you are the loving constant, your loving voice, your loving word, and your loving promise. Renew our hope. Renew our strength. Help us to not grow weary and help us to not be faint. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Friend, thank you for joining me in this time of pause as we breathe in God's word and exhale our stress. Remember to sign up for my newsletter at thebonniegreat.com slash subscribe. And you'll be first to hear about the how to study the Bible to hear God more personally in your life. And remember, you're loved, you're cherished. Just rest. I'll see you next time. Breathe, the Stress Less podcast is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. The role of HR has changed drastically over the last couple of years. That's why you need Namely, the all-in-one HR solution that helps you with onboarding, payroll, benefits, compliance, and more, all with dedicated support in one beautiful and intuitive platform. Save time, avoid error, and build a winning culture for your business. 
Step into the future of HR with Namely today by going to namely.com. That's namely.com.